Well, I hope everybody had a great Labor Day. And I hope everybody is okay. You, you sort of saw sort of a, a new year's time. Kids have gone back to school and things are a little, a little kind of settled a little bit, you know. People come and go. There's a lot of deaths. Uh, there's, you know, there's many things that's going on in the world. But right now, you've got to focus on yourself. What you're going to be doing in your life. You may have a girlfriend. Maybe you're married. Maybe you have kids. Maybe you got a job. Maybe you're an executive. Maybe you have everything you want, but you're still not happy because you haven't found yourself. Maybe go take a trip. You know, sometimes you like to, something you like to do. Maybe you like to go fishing. Like you go hunting. Like you like go surfing. Maybe you like to, you know, go skiing. If you, you know, you know, places do have winter stuff going on. You know, what if it makes you happy? Go do it. Maybe you want to shoot some pool. Maybe you want to, you know, ride your motorcycle. You know. Well, as you know, everybody's not perfect. Everybody looks different and everybody acts different. That's who makes you make, make up who you are. You can't be the same. Everybody's going to do their own thing. And there's so many problems and so many things that you have to tackle. Women can do what they want. And so you men can do the same thing. You men are not perfect and the women are not perfect. No one's saying everybody's supposed to be perfect. But you you know, you got to kind of adjust to fit in so everything kind of works out the way it's supposed to work out. Because if it don't fit in, this is fit in. Fit in like a glow right here. Like, a, like a, You connect. You connect for a reason. You and her love each other. You want to be with each other. You know, you feel good with each other. This is the way it is. And sometimes a lot of people fall out of the box. People living in a fantasy today. You know, if you met that perfect girl, but does she feel the same way about you? Are you that perfect guy? Are you that guy she wants to be with? Are you that irresistible man? That man that she wants in her life? If the answer is yes, then you got it made. Now, some people will say, hey, don't ask the girl how they feel about you. But sometimes the girl will reveal her feelings for you by a touch, a feel, a kiss, a peck, hold you, hug you, caress you, make you feel good, holding hands and walking, all that signs of love. If the girl is not doing none of that, then there's no love there. There's nothing. It's cold, dark. There's nothing. See, today, you know, things are a lot different than they used to be. And everybody knows that, you know? And what I'm saying about that is, you know, things, life, you know, things might be not going the way you want them to go. Maybe you're by yourself. You can't find nobody. Or you have somebody, but you're unsure of what they really think about you, you know? A lot of this, there's a lot of ups and downs to all, everything that's happened. And, you know, and most of it you can control. You control your destiny. You control your life. But the most thing that you have to control is what you want out of life. Don't let people tell you other stories. and Let all people persuade you to do things their way. You do things for yourself. It's all about you. This is self-ego. You get out there and you do what you have to do to survive. In our society, we live too much of how we look. And we're all not models. You know, we're born by two loving parents. If your parents were good looking and they were models, 50% chance that you're going to come out just like that. Hey, and you got it made. You can be a model. You can, you have your, your ticket. People look at, look at you for what you look like. It's a shame, I know, but we live like that. That's the way it looks. We're not in a society where 3,000 years from now where people won't be judged about how they look, but they'll just judge by the kindness of their heart and the way they are and the person. Everybody will not hate everybody. Everybody will be friendly. Everybody will just appreciate everybody. Everybody accept it. No matter what race, what color, what creed, whatever you believe, religion you are, everything is accepted. And that's the way it should be. But this time, 
we of the 2022 it's not like that it's a different society hey coach you know my girlfriend and i we've been dating for a long time and sometimes i feel like she's deceiving me and she's not being honest sometimes i feel like there's somebody else in her life what should i do well whatever has triggered that effect and you know in your gut she's not acting like she used to do sometimes they get bored and if you don't do anything with them and you continue to do the same routine all the time you got to spice up the you know the relationship take her out do things with her you know go bowling take her to a sports game go see a movie if you can't see the movie bring the movie into the house you got many ways of doing that entertain her if you're into games maybe she's into video games get a playstation and play it or xbox you know get her involved in your life because don't forget because women will get bored and when they're bored yeah hey coach my life feels like a domino effect how should i handle that well so things are stacking up then they're falling down in your life. Maybe your job, if you if you got a job, maybe you lost your job. And it's when the domino effect comes in to play when things start to tumble down. Everything's not working out for you. But you can make, turn your life around by many ways. And most of all, you have to have self-confidence. Get your confidence back and your self-esteem. You have to focus on yourself and stop worrying about others and what people think about you. You gotta focus on you. You it's all about you, no one else. Hey coach. The, my girlfriend and I, the relationship feels like we're playing a deck of cards. I flip up and I lose. And she wins. And what I mean by that is that she's not reliable. Like she, I asked her to do something and she doesn't do it. She makes up excuses why she can't do it. And it just keeps going and going on. What's the best course of action to, to, to get out of this card deal? Well, first of all, calling it a card deal is making things worse. Because if you flip the card over and you say, hey, 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 baby, can you um, do this for me or do that? And she doesn't want to do it. She's not going to do it. She doesn't have to do anything you say. You know, you can't control her. She do whatever she wants. If you're not happy, then, you know, time to pack that card deck in and get out of it. 